The first core skill needed for emotional health and emotional intelligence is quick stress relief. This skill can rapidly bring overwhelming stress and emotions back into balance. Think of an elastic band stretched to its limit. That's your nervous system under pressure. Stress relief is what's needed to quickly relieve this tension. Believe it or not, stress is a necessary ingredient for life. By balancing the ability to remain both calm and alert, stress sets the stage for all learning. But high levels of stress can block emotional awareness by overwhelming your nervous system. The result? Automatic responses that cause you to fight, flee, or freeze, but little else. To regulate internal and external sources of stress, you'll first have to recognize that you are stressed and then be able to quickly bring it into balance. This may sound easy, but it's tricky because of habits that interfere with your ability to notice stress. We are all too accustomed to distraction. It's rare to have a moment without being preoccupied by technological gadgetry or our own absorbing thoughts. We can also numb the physical sensations that signal stress by habitually holding our breath and clenching our insides. The Ride the Wild Horse meditative exercise on the audio parts of this toolkit address these obstacles and help you overcome them. To regulate stress, you'll first have to become aware of how you respond to it. Though internally everyone's response to stress is similar, people react very differently. When you're stressed, do you get angry? Or do you shut down and space out? Or do you freeze? If you're a person who tends to shut down, space out, or freeze, you may not even be aware that you are stressed. Or you may be so used to experiencing persistent low-level stress that you don't recognize the overwhelming effect it has on you. Once you recognize stress, you can begin exploring a variety of sensory experiences to quickly relieve it. These include images, sounds, aromas, tastes, movements, and tactile sensations that can immediately help you feel more calm and alert. Sensory preferences vary. A person who becomes spacey and withdrawn under stress may need an active form of sensory input, like stretching, bouncing up and down, or tapping parts of the body. Someone who gets angry and agitated may need something that quiets them down. Quick stress relief is a simple idea, but it takes daily practice for a while and some talk about what you're learning before becoming a resource you can count on and use to develop the second core skill, emotional awareness. To find out more about the great variety of sensory options available for exploration, read the article on quick stress relief that's in this toolkit.